What's up guys? I literally just hit my face with this water bottle and I hope it doesn't bruise. <laughs> but today I thought I would vlog and share how I prepare for a product launch. So we have our photo shoot next week for the launch of the Artist of Life workbook and our new weekly planner. We're also shooting a couple new products that we are launching in December. So we're doing our big launch in October and a mini launch in December as well. Uh, don't worry, I'll show you everything. That's your gift for clicking on this video. But yeah, I basically spend most of my year preparing for this big launch, working on design designing the products, making samples, doing a bunch of redesigns, so many revisions and redesigns to get to this point. And this is basically like the big moment. And I'm super excited this year because we have a concept that is more creative than anything I've ever done before. I love our concept this year and I'm challenging myself creatively. So it's different, but I hope you guys will like it. So yeah, today we'll be showing you behind the scenes of everything I do to prepare for our launch. First step, products. So in these three boxes are product samples for the photo shoots, some samples we're gonna send to press. There were also samples of new products that we are launching early next year. So a lot of fun stuff in these boxes. So I will show you a preview of what's in here and then I am gonna have to organize this because some of these we're taking to the photo shoots, some we're keeping here, we're gonna send to other people, so yeah. So this is the box of, can you guess what it is? Do, 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 do. Look at our beautiful box. So this is the point where I kind of have to look at everything and make sure it's perfect. If it's not perfect, I'm gonna set it aside for not the photo shoot, because the photo shoot's gotta be perfecto. And there we have it, do, 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 do. a preview of our mint and peach artist of life workbook for 2022. I'm not gonna crack these open because I wanna keep it in pristine condition. Okay, here is my version that I was just looking through at my desk. There are dots in the boxes now. Our entire goal book is different. I'll just do a little quick flip through. As you can see, the layout is different, but you'll see more when we launch. In this box, we have something very special. This is a new weekly planner that we are launching. It's called the Weekly Reset Planner. It has an elastic and even a pocket. So cute. Just giving you a tiny little preview, but I'm excited about this. I think you guys will like this one. I also have to show you guys this. So we have lavender stickers this year. So these are gonna come with the weekly planner for free. They'll also be sold separately on our website, but I'm so excited. So they were designed by Cloris, who also designed the icons on the pastel notebook. I'll link her down below, but super cute, super excited. And here we have something else, preview. Preview, preview without showing too much. And in this box is another preview. I'm pretty sure I showed this in a video before, but doo -doo -doo, preview. How cute is this packaging? This is hard. Look at this. Oh, I love it. You guys voted on your favorite design on Instagram. These are photos that I took myself at the Botanical Gardens. One. Two, three. So these are hardcover notebooks and we're actually launching these early next year. They're not in production yet. These are just samples, but they also have an elastic and I just think it looks so aesthetic. Like I am so excited. I'll show you guys in detail when we actually launch, but this is really just a preview. Okay, I gave you guys the sneak peek tour. Now I'm gonna organize which ones I'm taking to the photo shoot and which ones I'm leaving behind.
<laughs> I'm sorry, I know you're shooting too right now. It's okay. Okay, so this is the peach version. Okay. Yeah, oh. so you'll do this one. It looks like 2018 one. I know yeah. it does, it's similar. Yeah, okay, so I'll do this one. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right, next is planning and team meetings. So we've been having weekly meetings to talk about the launch for the past two months leading up to today. And that's just to talk about launch with like the marketing and the shop team. But I've been working with the shop team since like way earlier in the year to just work on product development. So I'll give you a general tour of how we're planning the launch in our Notion. And yes, I've switched to Notion. I love it. It's so uh, robust. All right, so here is our Notion page for our launch. I'm just gonna brush through it. We have just quick links to like team meetings, past content. These are our content pages and I will go into depth in a bit. Here we have cheat sheets per product. So for example, this page includes all the info and specs for our Artist of Life workbook. And we just have one for every new product coming out. And down here we have our launch timeline calendar with all the to-dos and events related to launch. So some PR outreach, social media content planning, photo shoots, and kind of mapping out the challenges and posts that we wanna go up regarding the launch. Next is the concept or the overall theme for the shoot. So last year's theme for 2021 was a sunny day because I was like, after the storm of 2020, 2021 will be a sunny day. And so that's why I chose that theme. And this year, I think we started more visually. We had different options for visual themes, but I really love the idea of like a dreamy cottage core, very like quaint and botanical vibe. And cottage core was so, so trendy recently. And so I thought it was fun to like do a version of that. So the first thing I do after coming up with the basic concept is to just gather a mood board. So this is the page in Notion where I have like my favorite images that will evoke the feeling I want to evoke with this theme. So dreamy cottage core is feminine, dreamy, cozy, whimsical, a lot of florals, wildflowers, greenery, books, baskets. You guys know that feeling. I, I just love it. It's very whimsical and fantasy-like, which I like. And I think the reason why I gravitated towards this theme was because it's kind of like an escape. We're using our imagination as an escape and it's a cozy place, maybe because the world is so crazy, it just feels good to kind of like go back to simpler times. So here is our mood board on Pinterest with a bunch of visuals that we wanna use as inspiration for our photo shoots. So like I love dreamy floral shots like this. Some of these are more K-pop inspired. Some of these are like I don't know, TikTok, IG inspired. And I like to find photos for both flat lays and people because a huge part of our photo shoot are really just the flat lays of our products. By the way, guys, I wanna thank AMD for sponsoring today's video. So this is the AMD Ryzen powered HP Envy X360. I've had it for the past year and I've been using it to plan our launch. Although you guys might typically see me using a Mac, I actually use both Mac and PC at home. I wanna share that there's actually a lot of great options out there like this laptop that's powered by AMD. With this ultra fast processor, this laptop can handle my multitasking and heavy workload. I'm always working with multiple programs open at once. The graphics are also amazing on this laptop. You can edit photos and videos and stream your favorite shows in up to 4K and HDR. Visuals are so important to me as a creator and the AMD Radeon graphics do not disappoint. One of my favorite things about this laptop is its convertible design. You can flip the screen and use it in tablet mode. It's lightweight and portable while still being a really powerful machine. Another huge win is the amazing battery life. With 16 hours of battery life, this laptop can power you through a full day without needing to be charged. So whether I'm creating a mood board, planning a shot list, or script writing, I'm able to focus on my work without worrying about any issues with my tech. If you want to learn more about PCs powered by AMD, you can click the link in the description below.
Next, let's talk about writing the script for the launch video. So previously, I would write a script from my point of view. It would just be like a voiceover of me talking about the products. But this year, our theme really inspired me to do something creative and a little different. So this year's theme is like once upon a time. So imagine the aesthetic of like cottagecore fairy tale with this story of like once upon a time there was a girl and I mean, I haven't finished writing the script, but I wanted to go somewhere. I want the girl to be relatable, someone that you and I can relate to, like her struggles, what she went through, her figuring out how to create her dream life. And ultimately the story is about, you know, becoming empowered to be the artist of your life. And so I do have a working draft of the script right now, but it's not that good yet. I think I really have a lot of work to fine tune it. But to give some background on the resources that help me write the script for a launch video is I tend to look at all the past launch videos that I've wrote. I go back to all my notes and there are certain frameworks that I go back to. There is something called the story brand framework that I learned from that author. I'll just put his book right here. I review the concept of the hero's journey by Joseph Campbell. I review my notes from marketing books like Contagious. So I have like a Google Doc where I keep all these marketing notes and things to just help me structure a marketing video because this video is supposed to tell a story and it's also supposed to get the viewer interested in the product in some way. So there's a strategy behind like the flow. Another aspect that really helps me write is music. I I like having music before I have my script because I like writing to music, meaning I like to write the script paced out with the music, like when the music has a slow part versus when it crescendos, like I want my script to follow that flow. And if you don't have music in mind and you write the scripts, like it might be hard to like fit it together. Um, it obviously takes more work to find music first and pick the right one to write your script to, but if you can do that, it is worth it. So the goal really is to blend beautiful visuals with a beautiful fitting audio, writing your script and the words to flow with that audio and the visuals, and for the words to follow a strategic story in order to market your product. So it's a lot of things in one, but this is honestly what I love to do. I feel like this combines everything I'm good at. This is my jam. I just have so much fun doing this. So right now we have a few music options. This one sounds the most like Disney fairy tale. So you can see like the beginning is like a calm, even a little mysterious entrance. Like once upon a time, there was a girl who lived in the woods, in the deep forest. <laughs> and it's, it has to stay at that slow tempo, right? And then as the music crescendos and it grows into something better, this is where like the development is happening. Like, wow, there's more. Little does she know, this, this, and this, and this. And this is how I write. <laughs> I listen to the music, I try to match it. So I have a couple options. This one is, you know, fairy tale like. This one's more like solo piano kind of chill. This one's just dreamy. This one feels like I'm floating with bed sheets flowing. I'm a feather. I am a feather. I'm a, I'm a petal just drifting. So this song doesn't really crescendo into much, so it's good if you want like if you don't want to like change up your pace. Okay. This reminds me of Chopin. Like this is very, mm, like you guys feel the vibe. There's different vibes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one because it's very, dreamy, nighttime dreamy. This one sounds hopeful, like it's going somewhere positive. Like your life is changing for the better, that's what this song gives me. 
But sometimes it can, if you choose a positive song like this, sometimes it can sound very cliche using it. Or sometimes it could work. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you have a favorite song out of the ones that I played. I think I played four, so comment down below if you have a preference. Um, I still don't know what I'm gonna use, but you guys will find out in a bit. <laughs> we launch October 22nd, so that's when the video will be out. Next up, outfits. So I have some options, some different dresses that I got just for this launch, and I'm gonna just try them on because I really don't know what I'm wearing for what or if any of this even works. So I have my products here, the workbooks as well as the weekly planner and I just need to put the products next to the clothes to make sure it matches, colors go well and I don't know, just, just feel it. So this option is casual cottage core. Is this too cat? I mean, this is like a good standard outfit. I, I actually really like this dress. It's cute. I thought I liked this dress in theory, but the it's a little strange. I feel like this is something I would wear when I'm just recording a video. You only see here and up. But as a whole body, I'm not sure about this. Actually, I think you're supposed to wear it like this so that this hits at the right spot on your waist. But it's all right. I mean, I like the sleeves. Think about it. This was one of the nicer dress purchases and I it looked really cute on Instagram. Um, I like this dress, I just don't know if it fits our story yet because it, it feels so dressy. It feels like the ball and I don't think we're going for the ball. We're going for like cottage core at home. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is extra too extra or is it good? Like she could be cleaning in this outfit. No? I, I do like it. I might wear this for my birthday, which is October 21st, the day of our soft launch. So this is another big dress. I actually like this one. I think this one could be fitting. I just have to steam it. Um, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Is it cottage core princess or? I actually really liked this yellow shade with our colors. I think it could be really pretty. So I'll try to make this work. I, I don't know yet though. Could it work? Do you think it, it could work? This was another dress that I already had. I'm not sure how cottage core this is, but just thought I'd try it on. I also have this, which I got in Korea like three or four years ago. I feel like it is very quaint. It's like peasant to cottage core. And the worst part about trying on clothes is the cleanup. All right, I'm back at my desk now. So the next thing I wanna show you is how we plan and organize all of our content ideas for this launch because it's not just one launch video. We have to create content for the website, like the product pages, like the little gifts and videos, and also like all the content for Instagram and YouTube as well. So I have this page on Notion called the content board. So up here is our video shot list for during our photo shoots. And down here, this table, is a collection of all the video content pieces that we need. So we need the launch video, the IG teasers, a flip through of each product for the product pages. Um, I wanna create reels and ads per product. Um, down here are content that we wanna shoot on the phone. So these are like TikToks and IG stories, things like that. These are graphics that we need. Most of them are just photos, flat lays for our website. I wanna do gifts, 
paper testing photos. So it's helpful to plan each piece of content you need. And if you click in one of these, you can add notes as well. And up here is the video shot list, as I mentioned, just all the shots that we need to get in chronological order. So after you planned out all the content that you need, it's time to create a shot list. So I kind of already showed you the shot list for video, but I make a separate shot list for my photographer, which is my friend, Karen Rosalie. She shot all the workbooks since 2018. So I'll show you guys the shot list. This is one of the first pages where I kind of show her what products we are shooting and what assets we're creating. So we're creating photos for the website, Instagram ads, and all these different video content. So we start the shot list with like simple e-commerce shots. These are just like photos on a white background. Orientation, whether it's vertical or horizontal that we need, and then just extra notes and instructions and how many shots we need. So these were our simple shots. After that, we have our mood board for the creative shots and the flat lays. So I already showed you guys my mood board, but basically we just go down each product, um, flat lay, how many shots, what pages we want to feature. This one's for the weekly planner. And then we move on to tear off notepads and stickers. So just shots that we need, gifts that we need. And then there's Eileen Inspo. So these are shots, including me. Previously, these are all flat lays, like I'm not in them. And then we plan for the shots with me in them with all the products. And the photos that I just took would go here for the outfits that I'm wearing. And that's it for the photo shot list. All right, guys, I'm gonna continue working on the script, but it was really fun to take you along with me today. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new about the behind the scenes of how Lavendaire runs. Comment down below if you have any questions on my process, whether it's in marketing, writing, planning, just anything related to running the business. And I'd be happy to answer down below or make a new video. Thanks to AMD for sponsoring today's video. And you guys already know, you can click that link down below to learn more about AMD. I will see you in the next one but make sure you mark your calendars for october 22nd that is our launch day where you will see the final product and result of my work in this video and if you are not on our email list already you can join our email list to get early access to the launch we're actually launching a day earlier to our email list on october 21st so the link to join that is lavendaire.com mail and i'll put everything down below so i'll see you guys next time Bye.